Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is me, Dr. Jahangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel. That is Dr. Jahangir Khan. Well, I'm going to start uh, lectures on hematology because there are a lot of problems related to the hematology, and in fact, there are errors in the interpretation of the results. If you compare the result with the patient finding, if, though, if they don't match, you have to find out where the error is. Now, I am sharing a very important scenario with you people so that you get the idea if you are sitting in the ER or if you are sitting in OPD, so that will help you in the diagnosis. Because most of the time you see the HB is normal, that is 13, 14, but the problem is with MCV. The problem is with hematocrit. So where does the problem lies? So a 35 year old woman presents to her primary care physician for an annual health examination. Now this is actually uh, a routine visit. The physician order routine laboratory studies including a CBC. The nurse has difficulty collecting the sample and only fills the tube halfway. Now this is very important. This is very important. I will discuss later on whether you have to fill the tube up to the mark or you have to fill the tube uh, below the mark. Now what will happen if you fill the tube below the mark? What will happen if you fill the tube above the mark? Well, this is uh, an important message for house officers because the sampling is done usually by house officers and they don't fill the, the tube up to the mark. Now this is the result of that patient. If you see hemoglobin is 13.5, WBC7, hematocrit is 31.33.1%, platelets normal, RBC 4.6, MCV. Now if you look at the MCV, that is 72. If you look at the HB, that is normal. So that this looks like microcytosis. It looks like microcytosis, but the patient is all right. This is a routine examination. Now, I will tell you why there is microcytosis. Because this is an error. This is an error. Not the actual finding in the patient. <coughs> the clinician interprets this result indicates microcytic anemia. She cuts the patient for a return appointment to, to collect iron studies. However, a repeat CBC is normal. Now, this is very important. If, if you are going to, to, to further dig out the error, you are requesting further studies. You are requesting further studies for what purpose? No purpose. Because at the end, the studies, the other studies will be normal. And you have to repeat the CBC. And the CBC will be, the repeat CBC will be normal. Provided that it is done by a competent person. Keeping in view that up to mark sampling. <clears throat> so now what is the explanation for that? If you... If you take <clears throat> less blood than the mark, what will happen? If you take more blood than the mark, what will happen? Let's suppose this is this is the tube. This is the EDTA tube that is used for blood collection. The purple, the purple color, I think that is. But there is the EDTA tube that is used by house officers and nurses to to take the blood for a CBC. So there is a mark. At the, on the side, you can see there is a mark. So if you take less blood than the mark, if you take less blood than the mark, what will happen? The EDTA that was in the tube, that will, that will cause what? That will cause the shrinkage of RBC. Because up to the mark, blood mean the EDTA is in so much concentration to only prevent the blood from clotting but if you take the blood less than the mark what will happen there is more EDTA if there is more EDTA the, the more EDTA concentration causes the RBC to shrink when the RBC becomes shrink what will happen the MCV is less the MCV is less now the machine <coughs> calculates hematocrit from MCV and RBCs if your MCV is low, hematocrit will also be low. 
so that is the problem if you take less blood there will be more edta if there is more edta the more edta will cause the rbc to shrink if the rbc is shrunken the mcv will be less now this is error this is not the actual finding in the patient if the rbc big rbc is shrunken the mcv is less the hematocrit is less so you will order further studies you will order further studies irrelevantly the patient does not need more studies because there is error there is not the actual problem in the patient there is a problem in the in in, in the collection and there is a problem in the interpretation <coughs> so before proceeding to further studies you have to repeat cbc by <clears throat> addressing this kind of error now if you take more blood than the mark this is that cbc tube edta tube this is the mark if you take more blood than the mark now in this case what will happen the the edta the edta is diluted the concentration of edta is fallen so that cannot that cannot shrink the rbc to the normal size so what will happen your MC, mcv is more if your mcv is more then hematocrit is more if your mcv is more hematocrit is more because you have taken the blood more than the mark that was not needed now if you see the edta that is more diluted if that is more diluted and that was supposed to keep the rbc in the normal shape so they cannot maintain the normal shape or shape of rbc and they become macrocytic now how would you check the validity of a cbc whether the blood was taken up to three up to the mark or not well that is a simple trick for that you multiply the hb by three you multiply the hb by three if that is equal to the hematocrit then this is then it proves that the blood was taken up to the mark now compare over here now if if i multiply the hb by three so that comes to be 39 the hematocrit comes to around about 39 but over here you see the hematocrit is 33 percent so it means you have to repeat the cbc you have to repeat the cbc before ordering further studies so that is one ratio three the hemoglobin to hematocrit ratio must be one ratio three now over here what do you think that mcv and the hematocrit is low because the the blood is the tube is filled less than the mark if there is less filled less than the mark there is more edta concentration that will cause shrinkage of rbc so this was an important message for the doctors and for the betterment of the patient as well because if you are ordering the less test there will be less expenses on that now th this is the explanation for that and i already discussed the ratio as well so this was a very important message i will be sharing more and more mcqs more more stuff regarding hematology inshallah in a in a couple of days so that uh, i and you get most of the advantages from it and for the betterment of the patient thank you for watching if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell 